Today we're asking people they think there's a there's bias on social media, political bias. Uh, there is actually. From which side do you think? Uh, every side actually. I mean, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, there is. And do you think it's the platforms themselves that are doing it? Uh, well, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Yeah. Can you think of any examples you've seen of any bias? Uh, for example, like uh, gender bias in uh, like uh, the Alexa and Siri they're using. Uh, they'll respond to uh, like if, uh, most most females and males, you know, working in that sector. Uh, most of them are getting like you know, kind of uh, what do you say? Uh, like uh, less, they are less paid, you know. Females are less paid than males. That's, that's overall. Yeah, overall, kind of. Yeah. So men and women doing the same job are getting paid differently. Uh, yeah. That's what I think. I had a research like that in my uh, global citizenship class, so that's what I give. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. In which direction? I mean, it depends what media. Like on social media, like in general. Yeah. I guess towards the left, but that might be because of what I'm following. I think it depends on what people follow, and then that would be their bias. So you think most people are thinking there's bias against them? Like, it might, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any examples that you might, con you might be able to think of right now? I mean, if you think about people who follow like Fox News, I suppose, and they might see, they might feel attacked when they see other news. I don't know. I don't Do you think there's any, have you experienced anything towards the side that you prefer being uh, biased against or maybe censored or anything like that? No, I can't think of anything right now, no. We're asking people if they think there's political bias on social media. Well, I think that's obvious. But I don't really want to talk about it. Okay, thank you. I, well, I, I can give a quick comment though. It's, it's basically, it's on the internet, there's gonna be bias partially due to the anonymity but also due to the fact that the sheer volume of people voicing their opinions you're gonna get all kinds of views so there will be bias inherent in that do you think the platforms themselves could be biased in what sense in the sense that they're maybe suppressing certain viewpoints and pushing other viewpoints to the top yeah but I also the other question we need to ask is um, first of all it depends on what's being suppressed and if what's being suppressed is hateful in nature then is that a bad thing and who, do you think that we should decide that, or do you think there should be a government stepping in to decide that, or how do we decide uh, what's hateful in nature? Well, the other thing is that um, platforms like Facebook, Twitter, they're private companies that run them, so they could technically say whatever they want in terms of the rules. Uh, if you're not allowed to say whatever it is, that's really up to them, not anyone else, because it is privately owned. So right now they flow between sort of like the difference between platform and publisher, whereas a publisher is allowed to make editorial opinions and therefore they're responsible for everything on their website, whereas just a platform is like what you're saying, anything goes and they can just have the rules that they define themselves. So do you think that maybe they're, they need to come out and decide which one they are? Do you see a problem with that at all? Well, I mean, per, in my personal opinion, probably. However, that doesn't mean that I feel they, sh they must. Uh, like, like I was saying earlier, everyone who uses these things, we agree to terms and conditions even if no one reads them. So it's the kind of thing where we agree to these things and if we don't agree to them, we can voice our opinions on that matter, but at the end of the day, no one's forcing us to use them. Okay, great. Anything else? No. All right, thanks a lot, man.